Ladies and gents, this improv story is based on the idea a man finds himself alone in a field, and I'm thinking I'm going to put this to the, I'm going to press to a poll actually. Genre fantasy sci-fi horror slice of life um what else rom-com <laughs> right vote now Fifty-two percent of us are voting for rom-com. I think we can just, I think we can just say, I think we can just say rom-com, right? Rom-com. Ladies and gents, this improv story is based on the idea: man finds himself alone in a field. Let the story commence. There was a guy called Craig, and he was on a kinda. Uh, a staycation, as they call it in America, now they call it here, even though we don't call holidays vacations here. And him and his pals decided to go down to this village they would always go to in England. God's Garden. Oh, but he, his pals are all loud and all that. And he, he used to be like that. But he wasn't anywhere. And they were all loud and like drinking. Good guys and everything. Um, dead loud talking about uh, boat races and things like that. So he decided he was going to go for a wee walk. He went for a wee walk and he, and he just for the first time he realised I've never actually been around this village. I've always just been here and got drink with um, Dib Dibs and... Harry and uh, old Roger boy no Deb Debs Deb Debs and Angus aye he'd never actually walked about and really explored this village that they would always go to they once came when in their younger years so they always came every year and so he went for a, a, a walk and he found himself alone in a field. He was looking about and then he heard this. Oh, I say. I say, I'm not trespassing in your field, am I? And he turned around and it was the most beautiful, wondrous joyful, joyful, wondrous woman he had ever clapped eyes on. She was so wondrous. And he said, I'm sorry, what? She said, I'll come closer. I'm not trespassing in your, in your land, am I? He thought he he would go along with it. He said, "Um, um, no, no, Missy, you're not trespassing on my land, Missy. Or oh, uh, what if you give me you? You're trespassing on my land, but if you give me." Ten pounds. Fucking sad. I'm trying my best. I'll let you do. Oh, I don't have ten pounds. And then Craig, that was the guy, said, <laughs> I'm just pulling your leg. I'm not a farmer. This isn't my land. I've just walked on here as well. <laughs> she said, you're very funny. And he said, you're up, you're up for a, a laugh. You're a good sport. And she said, well, suppose I'll be seeing you. What farmer? What's your name? 
and he said, Craig, and she went, I suppose I'll be seeing you, Craig. She went away like that. Have you seen that advert? Wait, what's her name? That, that story's not finished. Um, let me, this is fucking tragic, please. I can't. Good spoopy! This is what I specialise in. Um, what's that advert with her that was in Baby Driver and that remake of Rebecca? What's her name? Lily James, she was in an advert recently, she was in an advert about, well, six months, an hour ago, um, she was in an advert, and I was like, I, to, I was like, what's, what's this all about? Sky, she was like, that, at Vodafone maybe, she was like that, no, there's no Vodafone, she was like everything, she was like looking at her shooter with everything, like, she was more like looking at her shooter to the camera than like looking at the camera. Um, what, what was it? Anybody know? Sorry, I need to, I need to see this because I was like, ah. it was coming on, I was like, look, look at this. And even Daniel was saying, why is she looking at her shooter? I says, I see. Sky Broadband, right? Sky Broad, what is it? Uh, Lily? Is this it? Hi, are you alright? How's things? Oh, I so back to the story. So, they, that was it. So Craig went back to his pals and his pals were like, what's the matter? You look like you've seen a ghost, which you should never say in a film unless something actually is like a ghost. He said, I've just met the most. What? What is it? Did you meet a bird? And he said, You just don't get it, do you? Do you? Do y'all? You? you don't get it. Grow up. Come on, old boy, what's the, what's the matter with you? One of them was stuck in the ways, the other one kind of followed Craig out, Craig left. What was that all about, old boy? That was a bit rough on Harry. I'm just sick of it. Some of us don't want, some of us don't want to be 22 for the rest of our lives. Angus. I get it. Did you meet someone special? Oh, I'm being ridiculous. I don't even know her, Angus. I, do, I don't even know her, Angus. It's like, uh, what's his name in fucking Sliding Doors? I don't even know her. Uh, Dib Dibs was back there with, um, with Harry. Well. Who is she, Craig? I don't know. I met her in the field and then she was gone. Well, I suppose it was meant to be. You've always got us, old boy. I suppose. And then he walked back into the pub, because he was outside the pub there. And, and he just went like, right, fuck it. And he just went like, let's get drunk. And at Harry and Dib Dibs was like, yay! Good to have you back, old boy. Thought we'd lost you there. And they got a pint and he was just like that, ready to do a big cheers. And who was standing there? Like walking up to the bar. At like the other side of the bar. It was her. And he went. Put the drink down. 
and Angus said, Is that her, Craig? Yes. Oh. I can see why. I can see why you... Why you like her. He said, it's not about that. We had a connection. Connection? Why don't you go over and talk to her? I've never heard you like this before, Craig. Right, are you, are you sure? All rom, no com. Says, Guaylo says, all rom, no com. Well, Craig walked here like that. And this this woman, well, like that. And Craig walked up to like that, and she was like, and because because Craig was doing that. He couldn't properly see where he was going. He fucking fell out. <laughs> he tripped up. Some kind of a dog in. Some kind of dog was fine. The dog was fine, but he fucking tripped out of the dog. <laughs> and it was like... There was like all this romantic music playing and then bang! Music fucking ended. And uh All his pals laughed. All fucking pub laughed. And he looked up. And she was like, and he went, and she went, and he went, and then they were like, that. and then the fucking strength on her, by the way. He pulled her up, uh, she pulled him up, and he went, quite a grip you've got there. She said, round team. Oxbridge, 1989, don't quite lose it. And he said, wait a minute, are you, are you, the Sally Pipkins of the 1989 winning Oxbridge team? Oh. My reputation precedes me. And he said, I want to marry you. I have adored you from afar. I would like to marry you. But she said, think about it. I've been hot in the past. I need to think about it. I've been hurt in the past. And he said, Okay. And so the party company, and then she said, Oh, uh, if you're looking for any comedy, um, just at that wee moment, Dib Dibs went, <laughs> And then, the, the woman, he still didn't know, no, he, he did know her name, it was uh, Sally Pipkins, Sally Pipkins. Um, she went, oh, I'm sorry about him, oh, just leave it, you're disgusting, you're all disgusting, and she went away, and he went up to Dib Dibs, and he went like, Dib Dibs, I could crack you one right against the jaw right now, I could crack you one, come on, old boy, it's just a bird, I'll bug you, And Craig walked out the pub and it was raining outside. And who was standing there in the rain, just standing there, looking at him? It was Sally. She's like, Well, are you just going to let a little girl like me stand here in the rain without kissing her? And he said, <laughs> And he said, he got down in the rain 
and he said, and he kissed her hand, and he said, I've kissed your hand, but there's something missing. And he got a ring made out of somebody chucked a chewing gum wrapper on the ground so he made a wee ring and he went may I? and she said I do and then he said I do may I? what? she went <laughs> sorry I'm so clumsy and he went oh uh, mm. that's a bit awkward um um like okay moving on swiftly it's that awkward comedy. It's that awkward comedy. Um, right, okay. And she went, I mean, yes. Oh, I mean, no, I don't mind. I mean, yeah, yes, I do not mind. <laughs> Just do it, silly. And he put the ring on her finger. And then, cut to the actual wedding day. The ring, and he's and the guy said, "You may kiss the bride." And just as he gave her a kiss, <laughs> turned around went like, "Dim dibs," and Sally went like, "It was the dim dibs, it was me." The end. Thanks everybody. Thanks. No, it shouldn't really matter if it was a true story, but it actually was a true story. How do I know? I walked in the church that did the wedding. I was into the uh, the pamphlets to design the pamphlets. The the thing's getting handed out. Didn't get paid for it. 